Right, just a quick word from me before we get stuck into this very short main feature length adventure video, mountain biking video. Yeah, I'm back, bike's all clean. Just need to sort the uh, wobbly seat out. I'm not quite sure what's what's going on there. That's got worse after the off. Um, mech took a bit of a clatter in, that needs sorting out. I just need to straighten up the handlebars. So, I was under the impression that the uh, the Valleys Enduro series was like a series that catered for all levels of uh, riding ability. Now I'm not a shit rider, equally I'm not a brilliant rider. But I straight away today on run one I was thought this is well above my pay grade. This, you know I am well out of my depth so I'd like to think for the other ones they kind of cater for everybody because there's kids there probably some guys older than me equally some guys flying down who are, who are really good at this but I'd say for the majority that they felt a bit uncomfortable and there was a guy in the uh, the car park I heard him on his phone speaking to somebody saying that yeah he's knocking on there on the head because this is way above the kind of riding he would normally do so I feel his pain I came off took a clattering didn't feel comfortable from the off so yeah um, well that's about it really right enjoy the feature Stand by for action. All right, boys and girls, how's it going then? What's going on today then? It's Sunday the 7th of May and I'm down in the valleys. Valleys of South Wales. Blackwood is just over year by year. <laughs> and it's round oops, spinning, it's around four and the valleys in Juro. Yeah, Sunday the 7th of May. Round four valleys in Juro. I'm at Church Farm on a hill opposite Blackwood. And yeah, it's gonna be good. Unfortunately, Mr. Collingwood can't make it again today due to his knackered shoulder after the Walters Arena event. So Mark, I hope you're getting well. Get that MRI scan. <laughs> so yeah, um, gonna be interesting one this. Um, I've seen, I was watching a track walk from Mr. Paul Austin, AKA Sentry Rider yesterday. And yeah, it looks rather steep and muddy and interesting. So I'm just gonna be here for a nice casual ride down some hilly bumpy stuff. <laughs> I'm never out for any podiums or any of that rubbish because I'm not, I'm not that good. I'm just here to uh, have a bit of fun. So yeah, it's going to be interesting and that's about it really. I'm on the, uh, the wild. It's all cleaned up and ready to go after its uh, lovely Marlborough adventure. And if you haven't been riding around Marlborough, I think I've made that point. Um, so that's it. Right, so just sit back and enjoy the carnage in a bit peeps. Right, leaving the pits again. I was just on the way to the start and I realised I got a bloody flat. What a pain in the ass. But now, we're on it. Let's see if we can go and catch up John O. Jones, who is just ahead of me somewhere. Now, I've just seen Mr. Jones. He's going to uh, register. He's just turned up, so he's getting his number. So yeah, that was a real pain in the ass getting a flat. And my GoPro was playing up and that was because the uh, the USB, key, the USB cable was knackered, so I had to swap that out as well, so... All good, let's crack on. Just a nice little run down to the start of all the tracks. Oh, lovely, that's just restored my faith in humanity, thank you. Up we go, yeah, boys. Whenever you're 
ready, brother. He's on, isn't he? Have a good day. On, Stage one. The chicken running. Shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I almost swore then. Do it. <laughs> Shit. Uh, this is John, he's Marshall at stage three. Stage three, he's a subscriber, he recognised me. <laughs> Nice bit of view east on the Welsh Valley there, boys. Right, let's crack on up there. Okay. Stage four. Elbow, Jesus Christ! Oh, oh, fuck. My fucking elbow! Oh. We good? Oh, my elbow! Oh, shit! Elbow is knackered. That's me, I'm done. Ouch. Jesus Christ. My elbow is fucking killing. I think that's my day done. Can't take steep stuff. All right, boys and girls, that's not going there. I'm going to tell you, I was going not too well. That's me knocked it on the head. Did stage one, disaster stage three. 
I had a bit of a major jolt on my uh, elbows, golfer, severe golfer's elbow on my right. It's hurting holding the camera and it's severe pain. I then came off, took a wall up on the elbow, took a wall up in the chest, and then it's just been severe pain on the elbow ever since. So, And this is a pretty extreme course actually, really, really tricky. So yeah, I'm not even gonna attempt any more stages with this knackered elbow, because I'll just end up hurting myself even more. Fair play to everybody who does this and completes it and does more than one run on each track because Jesus Christ, I think it's way out of my comfort zone. <laughs> I think I need to stick to Marlborough. <laughs> anyway, such is life. Hindsight's a wonderful thing. I should have probably not come here with my dodgy elbow, but it's nice to give it a go and have your eyes opened, your chest bashed and your elbow pained. Right then, peeps, until the next random content, which is, not quite sure, in a bit. Oh, and don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. If you did this uh, this event, let me know how it went. And I look forward to seeing all the videos, especially you, Paul, AKA Sentry Rider, go and find his channel. Give him a bit of love. I'll put the link in the description below. And yeah, cause Paul's carrying on. So fair play, Paul, respect is due. Hope you don't get injured like this Muppet here. <laughs> right, catch you later, folks. It could be a lot worse. At least I'm not that guy in the air ambulance getting carted off to the local A&E. So yeah, I'm quite happy with my bashed chest and knackered elbow. Hope that guy's all right. Right, well, I've just seen something on a van and I'm going to investigate. I'm not quite sure what it is. I've never seen anything of the likes before. Not quite sure what that is or what it's, where it's pointing at. But as aerials go, that's not bad. <laughs> awesome. Right, so this is the pits. There's the uh, the cock van up there. That's Blackwood over there, and just over there you've got the uh, the Brecon Beacons in the mist. That's looking nice.